this would be my second time. And this is my first time participating in the NDP parade this year. NDP ah? Yes! Every year I go. I feel that having a virtual contingent... We're also a bit disappointed. A bit sad right in a way. <laughs> it's different also because uh, safety, safety, safety. At least like if you do it virtual, it's also more safer for us. Let's take it positively like. At least uh, I can still uh, feel myself involved. When we do this virtual... It's a lot of effort. Uh. It was a pretty fun experience. Yes, it's tired but it's joy. Worth the hard work and training that has been done for the parade itself. Something new, something that we should embrace. Yeah, I think it's actually super cool. Then you can like look back on this experience and like, oh wow, I was there, I did that. This, that is epic. I can't really put it into words, uh, but I really do want to feel it again. A lot of memories, I'll say. Yeah, and like, you know, it's quite an honour to be part of NDP. It's quite addictive. Good or bad, it's still a year that we've been through together as a country. It's like a good way for us to be standing united as Singaporeans. Support our fellow Singaporeans. I wish that we will become more prosperous. We can stay as harmonious as possible. That we continue to stay safe. That we as a nation will stand united and be the example that we are for the world. Happy 56th birthday, Singapore! Happy birthday, Singapore! Happy birthday, Singapore! Happy birthday, Singapore! The Parade Regimental Sergeant Major for this year's NDP is Master Warrant Officer Albert Tan Yong Koon. Brigade Sergeant Major, 2nd Singapore Infantry Brigade. Now look up to the screens. Joining us virtually are contingents representing the social and economic pillars of our nation, as well as the various uniformed youth organizations formed by the students. And so begins the parade and ceremony segment with a total strength of about 600 this year. It's about half of a traditional National Day parade. But lending their presence are uniformed groups and social economic organisations joining us from remote locations in a hybrid format. I'm sure we've all gotten used to that by now. The parade is scaled down, but no less important, total defence as a concept, perhaps more important than ever. The pillars of military, civil, economic, social, digital and psychological defence, all the more relevant as the country battles the coronavirus. And every person has a part to play, including these young Singaporeans serving their nation proudly today by putting their best foot forward. personnel have put in nothing less than total commitment, even when they had to put up with frequent disruptions, even when they had to comply with safe management measures, which may have made practice all the more onerous. And to make things even more challenging, they've had to rehearse with the virtual contingents as well, who aren't on site.
The parade commander, accompanied by the women, police, pipes, and drums from the Singapore Police Force Band, will now take over command of the parade from the Parade Regimental Sergeant Major. The women, police, pipes and drums heralding the transfer of command of the parade from the Parade Regimental Sergeant Major to the Parade Commander. For those wondering, yes, they are active police officers with policing duties to attend to while juggling their band obligations. This ensemble is mostly ceremonial now, but back when they were first formed hundreds of years ago, they had a practical function, helping to set and keep the pace on long marches, as well as keep spirits up. No prizes for guessing where the pipes and drums originated from. Our Women Police Pipes and Drums Band have a more recent history. They were established in 1972 and are now known throughout the world for their outstanding performances. They've performed in places across Asia like Indonesia, Japan and Hong Kong and further afield in Australia, Switzerland and yes, even Scotland. Pass! 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 Pass!